my name is Jyoti Patel and I'm a member of the ESC Scientists of Tomorrow. As part of the Cardiovascular Research on Life interview series, I'm interviewing the ESC Outstanding Achievement Award winner, Professor Esther Lutkins. Thank you, Professor Lutkins, for joining us today. So what first attracted you to the field of atherosclerosis and the immune system? Um, so my research career actually started when I was a medical student and I was very interested in the cardiovascular system. I learned that in, uh, yeah, just uh, by lectures. And then I asked uh, Professor Matt Damon if I could do an internship with him. Um, and then I ended up with atherosclerosis research and I loved it the rest of my life uh, to make a story. Long sh- story short, um, I actually started to look at proliferation in the atherosclerotic plaque. And then by looking carefully, it was 1996, we found a lot of immune cells in the plaque. And since that, I'm really intrigued by the immune system in atherosclerosis. So what was your key discoveries to date? Um, like I have two key discoveries, which I'm really proud of, and it's all part of serendipity. So um, we found these immune cells in the plaque and one of the molecules that got a lot of attention at that time was CD40 ligand and that was a normal immunity. So we stained for this protein, we found it in the plaque and then we had a collaboration with a company that's called Biogen and also collaboration with the lab of Richard Flavel in Yale who had the CD40 ligand deficient mice. So we backcrossed these mice and then we saw a fantastic phenotype, so a very strong decrease in atherosclerosis. And what was even more important is that these plaques hardly contained any immune cells, so they were very stable. They contained a lot of fibrosis and no immune cells, and that's like the equivalent of the stable, non-clinically significant atherosclerotic lesions that would be very beneficial for patients. So that's key discovery number one, and that was years ago in 1999. But then we started and we spent a lot of time to find out the mechanism, how CD40 ligand via CD40 could reach these effects. And several years ago, we found that one of the signaling intermediates of the CD40 system, so that was the TNF receptor associated factor 6, when TREF6 binds to CD40, you drive atherosclerosis. And with a genetic model, we could inhibit this interaction. And then we actually saw the same phenotype as in the full CD40 ligand knockout or the CD40 knockout. And that triggered us to develop a new therapy for atherosclerosis. Because if you block CD40 ligand or CD40 for a long time, you get severe immune suppression. So finding the interaction between CD40 and TREF6 to be the driver of atherosclerosis, we just identified a new therapeutic target, which we could Uh, model to inhibit atherosclerosis. So that was also the second uh, main finding, and this was just a scientific finding, and that drove us to develop uh, small molecules. So So you mentioned therapies. What do you think are the main hurdles to overcome in atherosclerosis and targeting the immune system? So one of the most important steps is now being done. So we have the CANTOS trial, which shows that if you uh, modulate the immune system, if you block inflammation, that you get a better cardiovascular outcome. So this has really been proven in the patients. And in the mouse models, we have shown, several groups have shown, that we really can manipulate the immune system and then reduce atherosclerosis. So the future will be that you could actually combine the lipid-driven disease, so you could give uh, uh, anti-lipid-lowering therapies and combine it with immune modulators. But the future will be that some patients react more to the immune modulators, while others react more to the lipid modifiers. So the trick of the next generation of cardiologists will be to really combine this anti-inflammatory Uh, therapies with the lipid lowering therapies and figure out which patient benefits more from lipid lowering, which patient benefits more from lowering of inflammation and which patient needs combination therapy. So that will be the challenge of the next generation uh, drug treatment for atherosclerosis. Thank you, um, Professor Lutkins. You're welcome. And thank you to the viewers of Cardiovascular Research on Life.